What's up guys, BKRTV and in today's video we're going to be looking at how to make custom face paint for WWE 2K17 using Affinity Designer, another logo tutorial for you guys. Now to start off as always, I've got my 512x512 512 canvas and the first step you want to do to make sure that your face paint fits your core's face is to get a screenshot of your core and put it in. So what I've got here, I've got my Shirakawa core. So you want to get his face dead on just like this and place it in the center, not the entire size of the canvas, but just large enough so it takes up the majority. Now, the next bit, there's, there's two ways you can do a face paint and it all depends on how clean you want the face paint to be. One way is to take the pen tool and proceed to just make a shape around him because that will create your template for the face paint and you can do it that way I'm not going to show it I'm going to show my way of doing things but yeah then you could create shapes on top of that around the eyes around the mouth around the cheeks to get a clean looking face paint say you want to do something like the ultimate warrior because his face paint is really clean straight cut lines but that's not what I'm going to do I'm going to show you how to do kind of slightly fading almost like the person sweat kind of thing so what you want to do is make a new pixel layer go to your pixel tools and you want the paintbrush set it to white I usually have a white background and then just I'm just going to increase my brush size because for some reason it's really small set the hardness somewhere around there like the upper third quarter it's just so you get a nice faded edge but the majority of the brush is solid then what you want to do is loosely draw around his face the reason I say loosely is because when you come to put it in game and you zoom and you get towards the ends you'll get the um, the logo blur problem 2k has and this is like the one time that actually works to your advantage so we've got the outline of our face paint we've got the background so we're just going to untick that now and for example I'm just do a kind of demony devil -y looking thing so what I'm going to do is go get the brush again make a new layer set it to black lower the brush I'm going to paint over each eye and then the mouth so tick that that's our markers that's how we line things up now the next bit is how you make it look like the person has basically painted their own face now we go to the smudge tool and just play around the settings have a flow of say 75 strength of uh, say 80 pretty high that way it moves Increase the brush. Now, if you look at the eye, this side on the left, if I hold down click and move it, it smears the pixel layer down in the direction of the mouse. So it looks like we have a nice line of paint. It's faded on the edges and it looks like, well, he's potentially drawn himself in a mirror and it's kind of sweated a bit. So if we do the same on that eye, it's not going to be perfect obviously because you can mirror image it if you want but it won't have the same effect so have one go up have one go up there then it's essentially just that you just play around with it maybe lower the strength and just keep messing around until you get it how you want and sometimes you don't want the edges to look great so you just smudge around back and forth around the edges basically so it looks less and less like a solid shape now we'll do the same for the mouth I'm just gonna upgrade the strength a little bit just to make something cool for this, I admit it's not the best face paint in the world, but it's just 
so you get an idea of how to do it. So we have, for example, our eyes and our mouth. Now, if we go to the bottom layer on the pixel, anywhere from the outside, because if you go from the middle, it will just be white smudging on the white. If you go from the inside out, and then just slowly keep smudging, come back on yourself to fill that hole up, and keep going. What this does, other than make it look slightly gray, when you come to put it in game, it will look, you'll, you'll see the skin texture come through from beneath. So if I, hopefully if I untick this, you might see it, it will not. But either way, as you can see in this top corner, you can see the skin showing through. So I'm going to try and do some more. I think what it's doing is it's showing the black, it's smudging the black. But hey, it, it doesn't matter, you get the idea. What you can do, if it's not working, Use the eraser tool, smudge that in, bring some of it back into the center. Just keep smudging until you get it how you want it to be. So, I mean, yep, it's not the best paint face in the world, but that's how I do it. So yeah, it's been BKL TV. It's been a little tutorial on how to create custom face paint or custom face paint that looks like they've drawn it on themselves. Alternatively, like I said, you could use the, the pen tool to make clean cut shapes. But I think this looks better in game. Anyway, please like, favorite and subscribe for more logo tutorials. I will catch you guys on the next one and peace.